everyone, it's just truly Dr. Alana DeGrasse, president of Turning on the Lights Global Institute. We are December 21st, 2021, and I want to say thank you so much for being a part of my community. Now, today, I have so much to talk to you about that I don't know what to do with myself. I'm super excited. Number one, I want you to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, I want you to comment and say, Dr. D, I am watching. Because one of the number one things we're going to do in 2022 is to make sure we allow so many of our followers to get seen and heard, whether that's you commenting and me replying to you, or whether that's you joining one of our special events. I want you to know that if you ever needed motivation, you ever needed some pragmatic skills to help you to reach personal and professional goals, then this is the place and the virtual space where you want to be. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of what I've been up to, because I feel like it's been a while since we've connected. And number two, what you can look out for in 2022. So as you know, Turning on the Lights Global Institute, we provide our clients and our constituents with digital experiences, webinars, and trainings to help people reach personal and professional goals. And after the pandemic, you know, after that hit us and we were like, what's going on? One of the things that stood out to me was that a lot of people were so overwhelmed with anxiety and fear and stress and all kinds of things uh, that I wanted to remind people to tap into their creativity and their ability to systemize their genius, to let others know what they have been up to. Because the challenging part about anything with digital media or using these tools is that they are bridges. They're not the end all. But really one thing we can tap back into is our genius, the things that we've been trained to do, the things we've been skilled to do, that the ability that we have to tap into the talents we were naturally gifted with. And so I know that sometimes when we are in a situation where we think that so many things are out of control, we just kind of feel like a lack of motivation. But I want to encourage you to make sure you subscribe, share our upcoming videos, because we want to make sure that 2022 is a year where you get fired up about the gifts and talents that you have, you connect with others, you deep dive with us, and maybe even create robust experiences that might upgrade your business or upgrade your personal or professional success. So I want to thank you for being a part of our community. So one of the things that we kicked off was a book club. And look, anyone can join the book club. And the book club allows myself and you to join us in a Zoom room where we talk about different elements of the books that I have written. And so today, we're only going to talk about one of them, and that is the Tomorrow Can't Wait book. So we started having this robust discussion about a month ago, and I want to just talk a little bit about the Tomorrow Can't Wait book and why I wrote it. So Tomorrow Can't Wait was really a reminder to myself to step into my genius. You see, for many, many years, I worked in the teaching realm. I spoke at conferences and special events. I volunteered. I was a civic leader, all of these things. But there were also other dreams and goals that I wanted to accomplish, and I kept putting them off. And when I say putting them off, I let 15 years go by. And so it was because of a diagnosis of endometriosis that I woke up and I said, wait a minute, what do I want my next five or 10 years to look like? I want to be able to somehow monetize my gifts and talents. I want to be able to do what I love. I want to remain true to who I am. And most people that I talked to told me that what I wanted to do to empower other people, to help people speak better, to help people get clear about their goals was not possible, or you could not make income doing that. But finally, in 2016, Turning on the Lights Global Institute began to offer trainings and workshops, and our company grew. And I want to let you know that creativity truly does excite me because even when we're going through traumatic times and times of uncertainty, one of the number one things we can do is we can turn off all the noise once we get the facts, once we know what's going on in the world, we can turn off all of the noise and we can finally tap into ourselves and say, okay, wait a minute. What can I do in my sphere? How can I move forward? 
And I know for me, there's always something that I need to stretch. You know, it could be it's time for me to write another book. It could be it's time to take my workouts to a whole nother level. It could be I need to be in another process because even coaches need coaches. And so sometimes it's okay when we're in a place and we feel like things are stagnant or not moving. Perhaps it might be a time to assess where you are presently and to really have a working look at where you would like to go. Because one of the number one things, even in speaking, that's difficult to do is to actually stop. And I used to have this activity where I would have my students stand up in front of the podium and stand there without saying anything for at least 40 seconds to a minute. So could you imagine coming to a stage and getting there and just standing there like this? Even doing that calms you, gets you clear, makes you think before you speak. And I do think with the news and with everything we've got going on, that we need a moment to just stop and assess where are we, what are we doing, and how would we like to move forward? That's the only true way of having solid transformation. And we can't beat ourselves up if we saw progression in one area and then we may have reverted back or we may have launched forward and then we took four steps back. That's just life. As Jim Rohn says, we have seasons, we have winter seasons, we have spring seasons, we have summer seasons. And no matter the season that you're in, just remember that the other season is also on its way. So you may be in a place where things feel stagnant, like I just said, or you are feeling like you're in a standstill, but it is actually okay to stop and use the opportunity of the standstill to get clear about where you presently are. So I want you to know that in 2022, one of the things I want you to do is I'm always going to give you homework. So you don't have to be in direct coaching with me to do your homework. Just do it and make sure you join our community and say, Dr. D, I'm a part of your tribe. I am a Spark member. Spark members are members who are joined in my community. So make sure you subscribe to my website below and you come to at least one or two consistent events. Then you're a Spark member. And then you can learn all of what Turning on the Lights Global Institute has to offer. But I really want you to be in my inner circle. I really want you to know that 2022 does not have to look anything like 2021. You can be fit. You can have your mindset shift. You can make new friends, all because you decide decided to show up in a new way. So I want to thank you for being a part of this particular YouTube live stream. Make sure you click like and comment below to let me know that you've joined my tribe and community. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Can't wait to tap in and talk to you about how to take drastic action.